Hi, my name is Madeline. I co-founded WineFolly.com and I want to introduce you to our first book. It's called Wine Folly, The Essential Guide to Wine. I'd like to show you one of the cool things about this book. It has a big section on wine basics and uh, have you ever wondered how people are getting all those amazing flavors in wine? Well, I want to give you some tricks on how it's done. Oh look, a glass of wine. How convenient. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm going to sniff a glass of wine is I'll give it a quick swirl. You know, despite what you might think about wine, the majority of a wine's taste and flavors that we get in wine come from its aromas. So in order to sort of release those aromas and get them in my nose, I'm going to swirl the glass. They'll actually volatize into the bell of the glass up here and uh, enter my nose. And then what I'll do, and you can smell wine any way you like, but what I like to do is I'll first give it a quick sniff and then I'll take a longer, slower, more focused sniff. That quick sniff is kind of like me sizing the wine up, like, oh, who are you? What's your story? And this wine, <laughs> this is a Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is big. You are a very, very big wine. So I know that from my quick sniff that this is going to be a big, big, bold wine. Um, if you see on our Cabernet page, actually, it's in the full-bodied wine section of the book. Um, so yes, I expect this wine to be quite big. So there we go. Um, and then my longer, slower sniff, what I do is I'll go one by one trying to identify an, a flavor each time. And when I do it, sometimes I'll close my eyes. I really try to disassociate the fact that I'm here right now smelling wine. And I try to think about where I was the time I smelled that smell before. So I'll do it here. Okay, so I got these frozen black cherries from Trader Joe's and we were making waffles and I put them in the syrup on the, like in like a stove top and I blended them together. And this wine <laughs> smells kind of like that cherry syrup. It's like, but it's not like super sweet cherries. It's very much more of like a sauce, like a very rich sauce without as much syrup in it. So cherry sauce. Um, the second smell I get, and this is very characteristic of Cabernet Sauvignon, is this aroma of like almost like freshly ground pepper. You know when the guy comes up to you and he's like, would you like pepper on your salad? It's like that. It's like a very aromatic and very fresh, not like an old black pepper mixed into your food. It's more, it's a very aromatic quality. So that's the other smell I get. And then just very faintly, so faintly in this wine, it smells like pencil shavings. You know when you, meh, pencil shavings. So these are the flavors that I get in this wine. And if you look on the Cabernet page, it's funny, they really line up rather nicely. Um, there's black cherry as a primary flavor associated with this wine. It says bell pepper, baking spices, but in the full aroma wheel, it says black pepper and pencil lead. Okay, so maybe my pencil shavings is a little different than their pencil lead, um, but it's very, very close. You can use these aroma wheels. There's Dozens and dozens of varieties organized by style in the book so you can explore wines and taste new wines and find flavors in them. Anyway, it's called Wine Folly, the Essential Guide to Wine, and thank you Barnes & Noble for letting us share a video with your people. Thank you.